protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com would it surprise you to know that Hillary Clinton says one thing in public and a different thing in private? Not at all, right? We're learning more and more about her emails, through her emails, through the WikiLeaks revelations that are continuing to unfold. We're covering them here on InfoWars every single day this week, letting you know about the latest dump. And what we've learned today, Hillary Clinton supports the TPP in private while she denounces it publicly. That's not a shocker there. This article is up on our website, written by Kit Daniels. A new email reveals divide between Clinton's public and private positions regarding the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Now, Clinton was privately in support of the TPP, as you recall. Uh, we've covered this here on InfoWars. She wanted the wiggle room to publicly criticize it, according to a leaked email uh, from the Clinton speechwriter, Dan Sherwin. And in 2015, this is when this email was written, Sherwin was writing a speech that assumes, quote, she ultimately is going to support both the Trade Promotion Authority and the TPP, but gives herself an out to publicly backtrack from the corporate trade deals. So it sounds like she's talking out of both sides of her mouth. He goes on to say, this draft assumes she ultimately is going to support both of them. Um, it focuses on what we need to happen to produce a positive result with the TPP and cast support for the TPA as one of those steps. It also says that we should walk away from the final agreement, doesn't meet the test of creating more jobs than it displaces, helping the middle class. Of course, they're always plugging the middle class while she publicly, you know, privately pillages it with um, unnecessary tax hikes, um, I'm paraphrasing here, and strengthening our national security. So it does look like there is some sort of concern over national security. She has no problem taking money from foreign dictators that compromise American national security while publicly denouncing terrorism. And this is no exception. We've seen this. She wants to be able to put a public face uh, saying that she's anti the TPP because she knows that the American people are on to what this trade deal is. It's a very bad deal. It cuts manufacturing jobs here in the States. It outsources them to places like, like North Vietnam. Um, it, it does a lot of different things negatively to our food supply. We don't have the checks and balances that we need on poultry and, and shellfish coming into the U.S. We, we have to import X amount of dollars. We give away internet freedoms. It's this monstrous bulk bill that basically takes away our freedoms, our rights, compromises our jobs, compromises our security. Oh, by the way, Clinton, according to her speechwriter, she wants to be seen as publicly against it while she privately ensures its passage. What does that sound like? It sounds like everything that she's done prior to this. Typical Clinton here. And we know that from uh, last Sunday night's debate, that's exactly how she does things. She wants a personal persona, and which is public, and a private persona, which is just hers, which is how she really feels. And this is no exception. Now, Kit goes on to write, please take a look at this article when you have a moment in its entirety. It's up on our website. He goes on to talk about uh, Sherwin and this email and how the TPP, Clinton has called the TPP the gold standard trade deal. And she's had to backpedal a lot on that because she's received a lot of negative attention because the TPP is bad for Americans and bad for American jobs specifically. Uh, but Clinton, she's downplayed her, her support um, after both Sanders and Donald Trump have pointed out that the TPP would kill jobs and grant more control over a transnational unaccountable corporate structure. Additionally, Clinton's ally, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, she, they, he also revealed that Clinton would ultimately support the TPP, despite claiming that she originally opposed it during the primary battle with Sanders. Now, we know that Sanders, Sanders, he had some good points about him. He was in support of the little guy, if you will, which made him very anti-TPP. We know that Clinton, uh, she's for anybody that gives her the most money, basically. We've seen that. History has, has shown us that time and again, and it looks like she is propping up the Trans-Pacific Partnership in support of it, although she doesn't want you to believe so. I'm Margaret Halve reporting for InfoWars.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Wednesday night is the biggest presidential debate in United States history. And we have full coverage for you at InfoWars.com slash show. We will have all our reporters on this desk, on another desk, behind the scenes, cutting up tape, analyzing what the two presidential nominees say. We will also have boots on the ground in Las Vegas 
talking to people on the street, scoping the scenes, getting a feel for the atmosphere. We're going to have all of it for you on Infowars.com slash show. So be sure when you're thinking about where to go for the presidential debate on Wednesday night, remember that we will have live coverage for you at Infowars.com slash show. The best coverage covering all angles, real fact checking moment by moment with everyone from our talented team on the scene. And don't forget, of course, Alex Jones himself will be live breaking down all the lies from Hillary, all the powerful comments from Trump, and everything in between, including the moderators. The best place for presidential coverage, the best place for debate coverage is infowars.com slash show. Be sure you're there on Wednesday night. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced, and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com, or call 888-253-3139.